The Air Ministry came to Bridlington in 1929 and they were here until 1980 and of course uh, the name changed to the RAF during that time and it became the Marine Craft Unit. Now this building here was a very large tin structure and when they left Bridlington in 1980 the Harbour Commissioners decided to change the building into a hotel and restaurant. This was done over a number of years and they also uh, one end of the building was changed into cafe and uh, ship's chandlers. We've had lots of famous people, yes. We've had um, Jimmy Carr comes in with his very strange laugh and he has a latte and he's been in more than once and he said he liked it. And then my daughter, she's worked here, she, she used to drive down the slip. She came in one day going, oh my God, Mum, I've just cut Paul Daniels up on the slip road and he was ever so cross. <laughs> so Paul Daniels was driving down here. So yeah, we've cut Paul Daniels up. Usually he's the people who cuts people up, though, isn't he being a magician? So I have a lot of customers, regular customers. In fact, sometimes they come and they go, we're back again. And so you feel like you're part of somebody's mem memories and you're helping to build new memories for this family. So that's really nice. This is approximately the area where um, Lawrence of Arabia, uh, alias T.E. Shaw, uh, stood with his bicycle. You can see it here. Now, Lawrence of Arabia was in Bridlington uh, for about only a few months maybe in the 1930s and he actually came here with the SE Rescue which now is called the Marine Craft Unit. Uh, if you'd like to just look over the other side here uh, you'll see the area that the Air Ministry used to use is now called the Lawrence Complex uh, to commemorate him. In the time that Lawrence of Arabia was in Bridlington with the uh, Marine Craft Unit uh, he didn't stay with the other chaps uh, on Thorpe Street. He actually stayed in the Ozone Hotel, which is behind me, which is now the Royal Yorkshire Yacht Club. Our uh, time here down at the shop, we've seen quite a, a few celebrities. Um, Jules Holland came into the shop and he introduced himself to my husband. <laughs> and uh, David said, I know who you are. Uh, were coming to watch you tonight at the spa and uh, he then said that he would like some Rolox for his boat <laughs> that he has and uh, it was quite fun because that night at the spa he um, said that he'd met a nice chap down on the harbour called David who'd sold him a nice pair of Rolox. Um, the next morning David got quite a few jibes from some of the fishermen. Gordon Ramsay was down on the harbour one day and his crew came in for some fishing tackle. They were going out to catch fish for a programme that they were doing, a pilot programme called the Gordon Ramsay Cook-Off. And he was competing against a restaurant at the other side of the Humber called the Wintringham Fields. Um, unfortunately, the the um, programme didn't take off, but uh, it was quite nice to see Gordon on the harbour. Now this vessel, 1386, uh, she left here one day uh, on an exercise uh, to go up to the Firth of Forth and during the bad weather she put into Amble in Northumberland. Unfortunately she turned over and quite a few of the crew were lost. Uh, the date was 29th of September 1969. Now uh, the RAF sent a helicopter from Rosyth uh, with a Navy diver. Uh, the vessel was upside down and the Navy diver he was uh, lowered onto the vessel and he managed with an axe to get in at the fore end of the vessel which was sticking up above the water and he actually saved a couple of the crew who couldn't swim. Unfortunately all the rest of them drowned. We decided to run some charity matches to raise funds for a defibrillator because there was a, few, a couple of people a couple of years ago now, one being one of the fishermen he'd suffered problems while he was out at sea and they had to wait for a defibrillator to come to them because there wasn't one station nearby so we decided 
that we were going to raise funds to purchase one, to have one stationed here on the harbour. Now this photograph here shows one of the uh, RAF vessels, one of the marine craft unit vessels that was here in Bridlington. Now this photograph is dated, it was either late 60s or early 70s. What happened here is the vessel ran onto the beach, she hit something underwater and they had to beach it. And you can see it here with the holiday makers.